Hello. We are very welcome you to join our scientific webinar session. The main goal is to share our knowledge and understanding in certain scientific area, to introduce our team of experts and to find out partners from other educational and scientific communities who would like to collaborate with us and to join forces in certain research area. During today's session we will discuss technography, digital data and techniques. Our webinar presenters are Irina Shvarkova, the head and main at Steganography area at Intelligent System Department of Belarusian State University, and me, Sergei Tikhanenko, the lead of several research labs at Intelligent System Department. Let me please uh, tell you a few words about uh, Scientist Bio. This is an international research community organized and hosted by research team of Belarusian scientists of Intelligent System Department at Belarusian State University. Now I'd like to pass the floor to Irene Nechvarkova, who will narrate you about steganographic data embedding techniques. Hello, here is agenda. Steganography overview, LCB technique, steganography security schemes, steganography steganalysis approaches. Well, steganography overview. Vicky says, Steganography is an art and science of writing hidden messages in such a way that no one, apart from the sender and intended recipient, suspects the existence of the message, a form of security through obscurity. The word steganography is of Greek, Greek origin and means concealed writing. From the Greek words steganos meaning covered or protected and graphene means to write. Different definitions of term steganography can be found in a different sources. From our perspective, steganography is a science about information hiding, when the fact of information hiding is hidden. In comparison with cryptography that hides a secret message by recording, the purpose of steganography is hiding the fact of secret message transmission. Steganography has been widely used from the ancient times up to present day. Wax tables, secret inks, microdots are the example of the physical steganography. But let's have a closer look at the computer and digital steganography. Computer steganography is a part of the classical steganography that based on computer platform features. For example, steganography file systems take FS for Linux, data hiding in a non-use areas of file format, exchange of symbols in a file captions, text steganography, etc. Digital steganography is a part of classical steganography that is based on hiding or embedding additional information in digital files. After secret messages embedding, these digital files can be changed, but the size of the file and its visual perception should be the same. General scheme of steganography data flow is presented on this slide. Steganography field area, SF, is a steganography channel space, steganographic objects embedding and detecting methods. Steganographic objects are host signal C container that belongs to the set of all containers C, message signal M message that belongs to the set of all message signals M, key that belongs to set of all keys, and modified container C that belongs to set of all modified containers. Embedding or coding method is a method for embedding a message signal in a host signal. The modified signal stego should be satisfied all signography requirements, like the size of modified signal should be the same as a host signal. Stego should be without any perceptual distortion of the host signal. Decoding method is a method for decoding on modified signal in order to get the message signal. Steganography channel space is a frequency or end of Bluetooth container part that is available for steganographic modification and message signal transmission. Steganography system SS is a set of coding and decoding methods executed with a steganographic object, applying the restrictions on steganography channel space. And attack channel is a part of steganography field where attack and illegal are taking place. The data flow is after selection of horse signals part that is available for modification SC, message signal is embedded in a host signal C via steganography method E. Key key can be used like unique techniques that know the sender and receiver only. The result of embedding is modified signal or stego that can be distinguished from a, cannot be distinguished from a host signal C. Suspects can try to attack the stego, try to decode the secret message in the attack channel. 
In the decoder, recipient decoders the message signal from Stega using unique key. Next session is LCB technical review. At the present time, there are two trends for implementing synchronographic algorithm. The methods that work in a spatial domain, altering the design characteristic on the file itself, and methods that work in a transform domain, performing a series of changes to the host signal before high information. To select the best areas, the discrete cosine transform, relay transform, and other are used. The algorithms that work in a transform domain are more robust and more resistant to attack. The algorithms that work in a special domain are simpler and faster and, as a result, most popular. The best known steganographic method that work in a special domain is the LCB from what's least significant bit, which replaces the least significant bits of a sample selected to the hide the information. Let's have a closer look to the input of bits in a sample of image. On this slide, the host image is presented. In picture 8, the host signal is built from the all the 8 significant bits and bits of each color component RGB. On the picture B and C, host signal is built from the 7 and 5 significant bits. And on the D, host signal is built from one least significant bit. This significant bit carries information about the host signal. It's known that people in most cases not able to notice this change in this bit. It assumes that LCB is noise and is possible to embed information by replacing the host signal with significant bits by bits of secret message. Method often works with the raster images presented in a format without compression, for example GIF or BMP. The main drawback is height sensitivity to small distortion in the container. But on this slide it's shown that for some host signals like image map, LCB doesn't look like noise and contains a lot of information about the sample. The image that is built from LCB only is presented in the picture D. Using the LCB technique in host signal, the secret message was embedded. Near 50% of the host signal least significant bits were replaced one after the format of the secret message was Microsoft Word file. The perception of the modified signal that shown in the pictures B and D is the same as for host signal shown in the pictures A and C. On this slide, audio signals are presented. Let's compare host and modified signals. You see, they look similar. Near 50% of the host signal least significant bits were replaced one after another. The format of secret message was RAR archive. Using the LCB technique, the maximum amount of embedding data equals to 12.5% of the container. Due to the fact that the most of the images and audio files in a digital re representation have considerable redundancy, there is a possibility to steganography capacity, but using not only LCB, but also high-order bits, up to the third significant bit. From the picture, it's possible to see that even when three significant bits are replaced, shown in the picture C, the modified container visual perception is the same. In this case, the capacity of the container increases to the 37 and 5%. Now we will talk about the steganography security schemes. The choice of steganography algorithm in most cases is based on the analysis of steganography channel resistance. One of the ways to improve stegas resistance is using key schemes for embedding messages. The embedding message in host signal can be carried out using the key or without it. In order to improve the stega resistance, the key can be used as a verification. It may have an impact on the distribution of bit within the host signal and the picture of forming the sequence of embedding bit. There are four security key schemes that provide different levels of security or stability of steganography channel. The first lowest protection level is provided only by using embedding algorithm. The second protection level requires using the key without influence on embedding algorithm or bits distribution. The key can be inserted, for example, in the beginning or end in a caption of a host signal. The third protection level, the key influence on a 
message signal bit distribution within the whole container. In a fourth, in addition to the third scheme, the key influence on a bit selection from a message. The last section is STIG analysis. Before analysis of host and modified signal, let's say some words about message signals. In most cases, the type of the message significantly affects the stagger resistance. We divide message signal in two classes, compressed and not compressed message signals. The not compressed message signals have a chain of the same or similar values as shown on the picture B. They can strongly influence the distribution of host signals LCB. The better analysis of LCB message can be carried out by using so-called visual attack. Stig analysis is based on a visual LCB analysis of host and modified images. On the pictures from B to E, only LCB of modified container is presented. All high-order bits were set to zero. On the picture A, the initial host signal is presented. Its LCB is on a B picture. On C and D, the embedded message can be easily detected in modified signal. In case of not compressed message signal, the LCB has pronounced structure. On a picture E, it's shown how the using of third uh, key schemes helps to resist the VTAC scheme. The key was used like function for distribution of message signal within the host signal. In comparison with D variant, the message signal cannot be easily detected. On this slide, it's shown that for some classes of images, like photo or scan images, the detection of compressed messages is rather complicated. But in comparison with empty container on the picture B, the detection of message in modified container on the picture C can be detected. Using a third case scheme makes detection impossible. For containers with small number of colors and sharp borders, like presented in this slide, visual attack detects embedded message easily. To improve stagger resistance for this case, the combination of two methods was applied, using third key scheme, and two least significant bits were modified instead of one. So here is our conclusion. Stagger analysis based on the LCB to detect embedded message signal with big probability. There are following ways to improve stagger resistance. Use complex layers, compress messages before embedding, use the third, fourth key schemes, not least significant bit only, two, three significant bits can be modified additionally for several classes of containers. Thank you. Thanks everyone who joined us. More information and discussion could be found at www.scientist.by.